of people have been reasonably losing their ish from, from the PvP patch notes in um, the new Elden Ring uh, 1.10 update. Now, for those that are unaware, almost every weapon and some spells and incantations in the game have gotten buffs. Um, if you're wondering why this video is so choppy like a PowerPoint, I ha have Elden Ring on in the background. I'm going to show, I'm just, I wanted to use it for visual representations. Um, and a lot of things, and, and one of the things that has been completely broken, hence the title of this video, has been Hand of Melania. You know, that, uh, you know, uh, Melania Blade of Mikula, Melania Blade of Mikula, Melania Blade of Mikula, you know, her shit. Uh, her katana, you know, the one that does this fun little thing. So, here's the thing. I want, here's what I want everybody to note here, okay? This Ash of War is just a multi-hit variant of something like Wrath of Gold or um, a ritual, a Black Flame Ritual. And, the re and a lot of people are, like, losing their minds, because I'm sure some of you have seen online, um, people melting entire groups of people with just getting with this attack. And it's true. This can insta-kill a group if you're able to get, like, not just the first one, the first... If you're, if, if you're able to get this, the first, to go off, and then you get able to get... And then you uh, get the, uh, you know, the first, and then the second, and then the second that comes with it. I have to spam it. That one. Yeah. If you're able to get one off, one off, you stun somebody and, de and take it off a, a, a quarter to a half of their health bar. If you get both off, most people are dead except the tankiest people. You get the third, everybody dead. And it stuns. So it's kind of, it's hard to get out of it once you're in it. But here's the thing I want to note. You, we're not Melania. If you're locked, I want to remind everybody, if you're, I've, I, I you, this is a tool for specific circumstances, a, a, a must-have in my opinion. But if we're if you're fighting out here outside the first step side of Grace, you're not really using this here unless you've got your opponent pinned against a wall or some other thing where it's harder for them to move, where they have to go through you to get it, and they're just going to get hit with the last thing. And that's how you eventually hit them. It's no different than setting up a black flame, pinning somebody with black flame ritual. It's just, you know, a little bit faster on the outtake, but not by much. And when you're up here in the air like this, you're still liable to be poise broken as well. I have, I fought again. Here's the thing. I only use this, like, as a finisher. So I've seen people trying to use this on me, and I just dodge roll out of it. And because the second, because, like, the first one will only, like, send you to your target only a little bit, and the other two don't. You know, if your opponent goes through their whole rigmarole, you're just waiting there for them to finish their stamina while you charge up a big fuck-off attack to hit them from ranged. This is the point I'm trying to make. Don't believe the hype. Hand of Melania is now a good group gank tool if, you, if the conditions are met for it. Like... It has a limited range, and if you're able to get keep if you know if you if your opponent is either on a slow wind up, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a cooldown, like after a huge wind up, or you've got them pinned somehow, it's a great move to use. But don't believe the hype with everybody saying this is the most broken thing on the planet. It's absolutely not. I have seen people do some absolutely heinous shit with with glenstone sorceries, with with uh, large with, with two handed hammers. I've seen some shenanigans abound. The things that the waterfowl dance on Hand of Melania is not something you need to be worrying about. At least in my personal experience, does getting killed by it suck? Absolutely, but you know if you if if you're not you know fucking around, you'll be okay. Um, I have I gotten killed by it? Sure, but I got pinned. I got pinned, or I was in the middle of like, or I was. You know, just, or they had gotten behind me when I was using uh, a Dragon Breath spell. You know, they, they, they uh, like, they got me on that, on that recovery and there's nothing I could do about it. So, again, uh, the poise changes are really cool. It kind of accelerates PvP a little bit. It makes more weapons viable. 
Um, the you know the, you know the um, the spin slash is still a giant pain in the ass, but what can you do? Um, but yeah, um, don't believe the hype about Hannah Melania. It's not as it's nowhere near as busted as people are giving credit for, and you'll see a lot of clickbait videos. But I wouldn't worry personally. Like if you don't know what to expect, sure maybe, but like you know, it's no different than other you know weapons getting you pinned. That's it. That's all I want to say. Have a good one, everybody. Um, here's uh, important buttons and things to hit and stuff like that over here. Uh, I'll catch y'all later. Have a good one.